you know, I, I can share stories. Uh, I remember um, the first person that was really close to me, almost like family, and, and we are still friends today. In fact, he, he moved to Las Vegas, and, and he stayed with us. Uh, he and his family stayed with us uh, so until they could get, you know, their own place to live. Um, and it was 1971, if you can think back into that era, uh, when he actually came from Colombia. And he was a Colombian citizen, and he joined the Army in 1974. Wow. Um, he was very proud of, of what he did and found out that he couldn't serve for more than a couple of years unless he became a U.S. citizen. So wow. <laughs> he became a U.S. citizen in 1977 so he could stay in, and, and he served in our military until 1996. He is a veteran of uh, Desert Storm. Um, he did see some of the things that happened to wow. the veterans. Um, he, he feels very lucky to this day. That's 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 all. I mean, that's that's dedication. That's that's uh, love of country, and that's dedication to country. We're going to take a real quick one-minute break, and then come back with uh, Dr. Annette Tejero and finish up the, our conversation with her, uh, talking about uh, veterans' issues and a little bit about what she's got coming up in the future for. Us. So we'll be back in uh, one minute with the Veterans Matter Radio Show. <laughs> 